Hi, I'm Black Bright, um, broadcasting out of the UK. Now, somebody asked me what I thought would happen to the UK if they left Brexit. Well, will there be a UK even? Because when you think about it, uh, back in the 1970s, Scotland was getting agitated. It wanted to leave the EU. It wanted to leave the UK. The only reason they stayed was because the EU kind of put them under, gave them an ultimatum, and it wasn't in their interest. Similarly, Ireland was agitated as well. They wanted their independence. So now we've come to a situation where the um, UK wants to leave the EU. Now, the EU backed the UK back then because they didn't realise that they'd ever want to leave. So now that they do want to leave um, and Scotland wants their independence and Ireland they could, they were got to, well, we know that um, the Irish Republic is already in the EU, but then Northern Ireland won't want to separate because they don't want the hard border. So supposing those, this is all hypothetical. So supposing those two get together and decide with Scotland to join the EU, that would just leave England and Wales. Now, what has England and Wales got? Well, England and Wales, well, England at least, um, well, both England and Wales, they've got deindustrialization, they've got debt, the jobs, the worthless jobs, they haven't got much jobs. When you think about the EU's been keeping England afloat for the last 30 years, they, they're kind, they've been their passport out of um, a lot of things. So I don't know what's going to happen if you know, down the line, Scotland and Ireland decide to go with the EU because there won't be any benefit for them remaining in, with England without the EU. So what would happen to the those on indefinite leave to remain if it's no longer the United Kingdom? Because it won't be the United Kingdom if Scotland and Ireland leave. What it would be is England and Wales, and it wasn't England and Wales that granted the indefinite leave to remain. So if it wasn't them that granted the indefinite leave to remain, those who are on indefinite leave to remain would practically be stateless. Because where will they belong? England won't be the same as they know. Even naturalised um, naturalized, um, Brits will be in a pickle because... They won't be they won't be um, citizens of the United Kingdom anymore. So it'll only be those who are born in England, like London and all those places, that will actually be English. There will just be English people and Welsh. And then if there are any Scots in England, they probably have to go back to Scotland. It's going to be a bloody nightmare. Well. That's that's one way of looking at what might happen to the UK. Like I said, we don't know what's going to happen. They might not even um, that might not even leave. But I don't think that those people who voted to leave really saw down the line what was really happening. Because remember, they really it was really about immigration. And it was really about the NHS, both of which were based on lies. So I don't know. I mean, they had that big rally in London yesterday. If you're watching this on, I think it's the 24th of March. Yeah. Yeah, they had a rally in London yesterday. Masses of people. They've also done a petition of people who want to remain and but they've also got the strongholds of people who want to leave. But do the people who want to leave really, really know what they're asking for? Really and truly, the people who want to leave, the people who do want to leave, they're probably the ones, they're probably the elite who just want to get rid of everybody, want to have a clean slate, want to bring the troops in, kill off everybody and um, start all over again on a clean slate. That's probably what they want to do, because what's going to happen is there is going to be riots. There is going to be um, problems when um, people are feeling vulnerable. That's what always happens. Don't want it to happen. But let's hope that this is just a scenario and it's not going to happen. And on the 22nd of May, they will decide to remain because it's not in their best interest to leave. 
or I don't even know what um, Theresa May's deal is, whether or not it's beneficial or not. But I think if we complete, if we completely leave the EU, and they'll probably be getting quite frustrated with us, and we might not even have a choice soon. You know, it's it's. I don't see it looking very pretty because once again, I did a video, and all of the 50% of England's industries have been sold off. So what have we got to bargain with? Yes, we've got Australia. Yes, we've got Canada. Yes, we've got America. But is it enough? I hope so. That's all for now. Bye-bye.